I just woke up in the last 10 minutes I've had all of this in the sky in 10 minutes flat they're all obviously in all different directions and just kicking out loads of shit but yeah it's only 10 to 8 And uh, yeah, just doing laps, going over there, then come back in between them two trees. I don't want to point the camera there too long because the sun's really bright today. Look, that's a twin engine aircraft, <laughs> isn't it? No, yeah, there's still hoses on the back of it anyway. Look, there's hundreds of them. There's absolutely loads of them. And it's not exactly like they've got a planned route either. Because it wouldn't hockey stick down like that. All in sequence either. Look, that's number seven plane. In since I've had the camera on, number seven plane. Number eight plane, number nine plane. Are we going to stop this sometime soon or what? Because I don't really want to go outside. Yep. There's six trails coming out of that. No plane with six engines. Well, of course uh, there is a plane with six engines, but not that one. That man. That is not okay. It looks like a load of space rockets flying about. But yeah, anyway. I'm all lycra up again, which means one thing. That means I'm going to cycle today. I'm also going to eat some sausage. The rest of my sausage. Is and uh, well, yeah. Unfortunately for me, I'm going that way under all that cloud cover. <laughs> cloud cover. That's since I've been awake, man. They're just ruining the shit for everyone and themselves. One thing I do know for a fact is that when at least 15 planes fly over in the space of 10 minutes, I know that isn't. Bloody busy airport. And it is a busy air base. But yeah, they're just doing laps. <laughs> See, there's a four engine aircraft with two trails coming out of it. So what is going on, man? Why do we have to be subjugated to this? Subjugated, whatever. Yeah, I hope I'll just get past Cardiff today. Find someone nice to camp or something. And uh, yeah, it should be all right. I'm chucking that bag, that bag that I found. It smells like dead animals for some reason. And, uh, yeah, some of death has been following me, so I think it's the bag. Alright, I'll see you later.
Where's the button going? Mm. River Seven. It's nice and over that way. It's a little bit nicer. But, uh, yeah, the sky's still all foggy over. Maybe there will be a better place for the camera. Maybe I'm not sure. I'm sure it's up for its bag. Do not disturb the long beak birds. So do not disturb the long beak birds. I'll have a quick cigarette and then it's a quick cigarette, tick cigarette, and then uh, mm, then uh, I'm going that way uh, towards Swansea, uh, Newport and Cardiff. Uh, Newport and Cardiff, sorry, I think Swansea's miles away. I'm not too sure. <laughs> uh, so yeah, basically, we uh, didn't soak along here. It's just a little, there's a little rest stop here for people to do whatever. Well, not to do whatever, can't do it. But, uh, just uh, chill out. And chillax, relax, and uh, yeah, there's a, there's a few boats and shit. Not really, it's it's really tidal with the seven is, so there's not much boats. There's not many boats, not much boats, there's not many boats. But yeah, if uh. If you come down this way, it's really hard to find Route 4. It, it just took me... Uh, when I go into Chepstow, Route 4 just took me some random roads. And I ended up here anyway. Just because I followed the main roads. I couldn't be asked to look for the thing all day. I come down here to see if there's... A cycle route, and when I get to the old Tom Bridge, I think there's a new one over there. I think, and the the old one's that way, and the new one's that way. I believe. You would not believe how many aeroplanes are in the sky now. There's absolutely loads all lined up. Look, absolutely loads. There's loads over there, all lined up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all lined up in a row, which is shit. Glad I don't like flying, because if I did like flying, I'd hate it now. But yeah, that's the seven bridges. I think that's the old one, and that's the new one over there. But yeah, I'll see you in a bit. My bag fell off earlier, about 15 miles down the road, back there. Back towards Chepstow. And the front bag fell off, knocked off the light again for the third bloody time. I can't be asked to cycle 15 miles. So I'm gonna have to get a new fucking light. Piss me off, man. And, uh, so yeah. This is a Celtic route. And, uh, just down that little lane there. I'm really pissed off about that. Plus, all my bags, all stuff. And everything. Oh, it's one annoying day. It's hot. I've got an egg left. I don't like the oak. The other bit of the oak, so I chuck that away. Anyway, I'll see you later. This is a big bridge I just got to. There's no way across, the bridge is closed. I don't know what way to go. 
don't know what that place is. It's fairly run down. A sign there with lots of place names and that. And uh, that's quite interesting. No point considering it's no way across. But it looks like this thing with the tower thing and that shout a bit moves all the way across the river along that thing and that thing slides across the sun somehow fuck knows I'm just pissed off because this is my route anyhow right I'm now on my way to uh, Carafilly Philly, whatever, I'm not even going to try and pronounce them in this country, Wales. Uh, got the Wales right. Uh, route 4 was a little bit dodgy at first. Going by the, uh, the walking trail, I went by the coast walking trail. And it runs alongside Route 4, so Route 4. I didn't know they're two different things, but anyway... There's a nice view, nice view around, and uh, and yeah, what I uh, I'm absolutely knackered, man. I just come up a, a hill for about a mile, and I'm and it as soon as it would go off around the corner, it looked like it would level out, but obviously it didn't level out. And uh, and yeah, I went through Newport, that bridge, I got to the other side of that bridge, I had to go around the long way. <laughs> but um, but yeah, basically I stopped in a pub right next to Salt Route 4, You, if you know the area you'll see it. It's like a new, newish pub, right next to the main road, like right next to the bridge and the main road. Uh, in Newport, and uh, I was waiting. Well, the time's now 25 past three. God, I look red, and uh, and yeah, it's now 25 past three. And I would like to have been about 20 miles away by now, over that way somewhere into them hills. Actually, I'm gonna zoom in on them hills, they look quite nice, and uh. And yeah, basically, a bit of woodland up there and that. But yeah, basically, I uh, I'm naked, so I'm not gonna I'm gonna do an hour and a bit riding. Well, I'm gonna have a break and then. Now and a bit riding till about uh, fucking half six if I can go that far. <laughs> if I'll get past this Safili or whatever and maybe get the Ponty Prid. But I've been told there's a lot of hills and my sunburn is blistered. It's all, yeah, that's not nice. It's all blistered up. So, yeah, I'll let you know what I do now. I would, uh, I would show you a bit of downhill action, but the downhill action is quite seriously downhill action. But over in the distance there, where is it? Can't even bloody see. Over there somewhere. Over there. That's where I'm going. And that is about here somewhere. There's a road all downhill. I hope that's the road all downhill. It might just be a hedge all downhill and I'll have to go over the top behind that bloody mountain thing, but I hope not. It's a good little view. Well a little, but yeah. Let's find out, shall we be yeah, there's a couple of little hills, but there's that hill there, down there where them cars are. 
and that's the only hill but yeah let's find out shall we there's one way to find out and that's to do it all right i'm just three miles out of kafili on cycle route four there's a hell of a rock formation behind me it looks a lot bigger well it is a lot bigger than it looks it's got a got what look like to be chains up there or something it's pretty mad I'll show you if my bike stays upright it's kind of dodgily perched on a rock at the minute I think there's a chain or something up there yeah it might be for rock climbing or something yeah the, you can see all there's water running down and stuff like that. There might be a little... What's down here? Cool, mate, what's this? Oh, mate, it gets better and better, this place, you know? Yeah, I definitely hear water, like, seriously dripping. There's definitely a cave or something down there, I think. And, uh, yeah, there's a cave down there. This looks quite cool, I think it's a cave. But, yeah, that is absolutely immense. <laughs> I'm really chuffed that I'm here now. And I'm um, surprised my bike's still standing. Look, you can see it in proportion now with my bike. Like, that's serious, serious uh, rocks. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, yeah, I'm um, using these for the rock climbing by the looks of it. And, uh, and yeah, I'll see you when I get to Caffili. Right, <coughs> so uh, I've been to Caffili or Caffili, and uh, yeah, it's a lovely little place. Well, a big place. I've just got out of it, been cycling about 45 minutes. I thought it was a village. It's supposed to be a small town, and uh, it wasn't. It's like a big town. Not as big as it's Witcher anywhere, but still quite big and just loads of houses and people everywhere it wasn't that bad I suppose, it wasn't like Cambridge or anything like that but it's alright and coming out of uh, Philly it was uh, uh, all downhill on the cycle route the cycle route was all downhill and same for this cycle route it's the same one, number four but just I'm going that way so if you see these two benches the bench here and the bench over there. You see these two benches? Then uh, that's that's the way to go that way. Down there. And uh, yeah, Ponty Pre is about two and a half, three miles away. So I'm gonna go for that. Get past that hopefully. Well, I will get past that if I get there. I'll get past it. And I don't want to be stuck in a town for like forever and uh, well yeah quite a bit of deforestation going on over there but a little bit it's about nine acres I reckon of pine that was chopped down by the left all of the natural looking oak and stuff it looks like some big silver birch trees and willows here as well it's quite nice to see anyway the old thumb's doing the trick and uh, yeah alright Few, a few cyclists, not that many on this path. Wish I weren't so stuck up their own backside. But yeah. Anyhow, everyone smokes weed. You can smell it going through the park, you can smell it outside their house, you can smell it. You can just smell it. I can smell it now, and I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere, so someone's growing it around here. If I find it, I'll be a millionaire, I reckon. Because it's just all oh, for the last. I don't know, six, seven miles, it's all you can smell. Unless it's just me. <laughs> like sweat or something, but I don't think so. Anyway, I'll see how it goes. I just walked up the steepest bloody hill I've ever seen in my life. It's on site route for number four. Oh my god. <sighs> Man. At least my eyes aren't stinging today. I think it's when you get dry skin. 
with like the soil build up and it. Oh my god, man! I dropped my towel a couple hundred yards back. Luckily, I noticed it had fallen off. There's no way I'm coming back this way to pick it up. I'd rather just fucking don't know break into the church and use a tablecloth. I don't know, but yeah, there's a good view. That village down there, that's Ponty Prid, Ponty Prid, whatever. And uh, there's loads of little flies. I still have a little bit of a hill to go up. I don't know where the end is yet. But it's been going on about... Oh, I can't... Oh, my back's really killing me. Pushing this fucking bike up the hill, man. It's really killing. These flies are annoying me. Yeah, well, you don't want to see me. You want to see a nice view, don't you? So, there you go. There's a nice view. Uh, yeah, basically, I'm now going to find someone to camp for the night. And then, uh, in the morning, Oh, I'll get set off. I've done between Cinderford and Chepstow with Lydney or Lindy, yeah, Lydney. And I cycled from there all the way to here. So it's that far in the day. I reckon three or four days. Apparently, here at, um, at Swansea's when the the hills get really bad, so a, a gentleman I said give me his number earlier, and he said when I go past Port Talbot or Talbot or whatever the fuck it is, then uh, I'm gonna stop in, which is really nice of him, and he's gonna give me a he's gonna give me a map of Route Four because it gets a bit tricky, um, like you, you get lost in that apparently quite easily, so. So yeah, I can't even see the houses on my camera screen, you know, it's so far down there. And, uh, yeah, so all I need now is, fucking flies, get off, is a campsite for the night, then I'll be sorted. Cool, mate. Imagine if you're on that farm up there, or the way up there. On top of that hill, you're on that farm and you leave your handbrake off your tractor. Imagine that. <laughs> That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. Right. Anyway, I've got to get going because it is 7 o'clock in 15 seconds now. So 15 seconds, it'll be 7 o'clock and I'll oh, hopefully have found some of the camp. In half an hour or so. <sighs> Fucking hell, man. I just remembered um, if I camp somewhere soon, then I'll be camping on top of a mountain or something. <coughs> I don't want to be doing that. It's cold. Right, cool. Right, so uh, after pushing my bike up that fat ass hill, I was so dehydrated I felt like collapsing. <laughs> So, uh, don't walk up that hill. Well, if you do, take three breaks, at least. It's about passing places. Use them. Take a five, ten minute break each time, because it's a steep hill. And it goes on for roughly a mile. And basically, I've, um... A kind lady, let me use her, uh farm to uh, sleep the night she felt sorry for me and uh, because I was next to falling asleep at the side of the road and I asked for some water and then she invited me in to stay and it was lovely and uh, she rings it's going to get cold tonight the clouds look really low there's a probably probably rain clouds again And uh, so yeah, tomorrow, hopefully I might get to Port Talbot, or wherever it's called, 
and uh, and then uh, I see that guy about getting a cycle map for cycle route number four. And because it's, as I said earlier, it's quite hard to find. And uh, <coughs> and yeah, uh, yeah, I've had some cheap meatballs from Lidl's. I don't even want to read what they're made out of because if expensive stuff, well not expensive, but the medium priced curry in that is full of rubbish and I have no idea what that stuff is made out of. But I mix boiled that up with some rice and uh, that done well, we got me back in the mood. The lady, the lovely lady here, gave filled my water bottles up for me kindly and she also gave me... And she also gave me a uh, a chocolate bar to munch on for a bit of sugar, which is well thought of her. And uh, and yeah, but basically I'm <laughs> on top of the hill, like on top of the mountain, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's going to be quite a pleasant ride down by the looks of it. I might. I won't show you that, you see Somerset and that from here. If you look closely, those mountains over there are in Somerset apparently. And there's the sea. And, uh, yeah, so I'm not going uphill for about five miles. Five miles, I reckon. And, whoa, everyone's looking at me. <coughs> then, uh, then, well, yeah, basically, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to Get to St David's in a few days, and then soak the fish guard. Obviously, I'm not gonna hop, skip, and jump it. And uh, well, not with all my bike anyway. I might send that ahead first, then hop, skip, and jump it. And uh, don't know what I just thought of that just did whatever. And uh, <coughs> yeah, basically, uh, I'll get a train from fish guard to uh, not Glasgow. I keep thinking Glasgow. Uh, yeah, a Welsh accent is starting to creep up on me already. It's only been a day, and uh, and yeah, basically, I'll from uh, from Fishguard, I'm gonna get a train to uh, Gloucester or wherever, and then get a train up to the top of Wales wherever I can to climb Snowdon because I've got time and I've got I've got 70 quid on my card. And I've got 280 quid in ca 290 quid in cash, so it, it, it's a, a bargain, really. I haven't spent that much. I've spent I've spent about 130, 100. Well, no, I haven't even spent that. I, I haven't really been buying much or anything. I'm on my lands in John O'Groats trip. The reason why I spent 1300 quid. And I've done 1300 miles was because I uh, like quit a mile was because I was splashing out on two pub lunches a day, campsites most nights, and uh, I was taking my time looking around. And here in Wales, it's beautiful, it's absolutely gorgeous, and I'd love to look around a bit more, but uh, but I don't know. I, there's no other camp, there's no campsites as such, everywhere is too hilly for camping anyway, and uh, so I'm just looking at getting the moles done, <coughs> there's loads of swifts flying about, or whatever they're called, they look really swift, oh no, it's either a big swift or it's a bat, I can't tell, they look kind of the same. And, uh, yeah, and yeah, so basically my, my bike's alright, it 
the gears, changing down gears. It did clunk a couple of times, which is never good on a Elfine, Elfini, Elfini, or whatever gearbox. And uh, I was taking it easy, like I stopped pedalling and changed down gears, give it a little bit of a back pedal <coughs> type thing, and then I carry on uphill, and then it just went and then kicked in and uh, at that point whenever that happens I just get off my bike because it, if them gears go then you just need a, whole, need a whole back wheel basically and that's like 300 quid gone <laughs> like, you know and I wouldn't even be able to get home with that but yeah basically um, I'll uh, see if I can get to Port Talbot tomorrow or wherever it is and then uh, I'll go from there